Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and I'm going to present to you the forecast for November 2020 for the sign of Capricorn. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Capricorn, then please keep watching this video. So yeah, we had some insane times, Capricorn, a lot of retrograde planets. But the good news is that on the 3rd of November, we're going to have Mercury stationing direct. And on the 13th of November, we're going to have Mars finally stationing direct. Uh, Mars was in your fourth house for a little while. So yeah, there was some instability, some uncomfortable situations uh, at home. This could have been with your family. This could have been, you know, this could have been... Uh, some fights with your family, with your flatmates, with your partner, you know, it's, it was just very uncomfortable for you at home and to be at home and with your Chiron there as well, it's really about your family wounds that are coming up for you and that are really require some healing and some acceptance and uh, this is very important for you to move on and this is very important for you to uh, become the person that you want to be, you know, because Mars was retrograding and squaring Saturn in the first. And, you know, these big planets in your first house, so Pluto, Jupiter, um, Saturn, they've been really transforming your self-image. Like, how is it that you want to present yourself in the world? Who are you? Uh, who am I? You were thinking about you. How do you want to be seen? How do you want to be recognized? And you were planting seeds and it took some time, but it's growing and you're, you're on a roll, Capricorn. You're on a roll and you know what you want. Like you, you really um, planted some new seeds and they're taking off and Pluto is conjuncting very tightly with Jupiter right now. So in the month of November. So it's going to be something very expensive. You're, you know, this is where you're going to feel the luck if you've done the shadow work, because Pluto is about diving in the underworld, diving into the dirt, you know, like into the self image, into your own, like, have you been honest to yourself? Have you been presenting yourself out there that is reflecting who you are from the inside? If you've been honest to yourself, if you've embraced the dirt, wow, you're gonna have a major, major luck coming your way. And you know, your birthday is coming up soon as well. So, um, you know, it's gonna be great. There's gonna be a lot of shifts. And for now in November, um, it's going to be all about, you know, the sun will be ma major, mainly, oh my God, Mercury retrograde, <laughs> filming this video during Mercury retrograde. So please, if I'm stumbling, <laughs> just let me know. It's not my first language. Uh, anyways, uh, English. So, um, yeah, we have, uh, the sun in Scorpio in your 11th house of friendships. So you're going to go through some major transformation with groups, the friendships, you know, if you wanted to release a project or something like this, you've been rethinking about what is your market? What is the market that you're focusing on? Also, who are your real friends? Uh, who are the friends that you can share everything with? And Capricorn with... Uh, Scorpio in the 11th house, you want friends that dive deep, you want serious conversations, you want friends that change, that regenerate you, you know, to give you a rebirth, this uh, transformative feeling, you know, you don't want to sh someone to sugarcoat things, um, you, want it, you want it straight. <laughs> And that's why you're going so great with water signs, you know, even your partnership cancer is a great match for uh, for Capricorn. So you ha this water is transforming you in some ways. It's making you flow with life, you know, and with Saturn in, in your own sign. Sometimes it felt a bit stagnant, but this stagnant was there for you to work hard on something that you want, you know. And uh, yeah, I said in my previous video, like... 
uh, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and Saturn contains hard work and after the hard work there's a reward you don't have to work so hard anymore <laughs> you know like um, it's really about the transformation and the knowledge of yourself that you as a Capricorn are born to first work hard and then you reap the fruits you know like it's gonna feel stagnant it's gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable but you have a future if you want you are this authority for other people this father figure saturn is related to the father you know and that's why capricorn is uh related to the 10th house so making your you know with all these planets now in the first it's really uh telling a lot about how you're going to present yourself in the public soon through a new job through maybe you're starting your own company you're really like very determined and solving these family patterns forgiving your family and working with your family is going to help you grow on the 15th of november we're gonna have this um new moon in scorpio and venus is squaring pluto <laughs> this is intensity and venus is in libra and libra is all about balance and this is in your 10th house so you're like you know capricorn you're a born diplomat you know how to bring your charm in your job as a parent in the public you're very charming and um you know it's like venus is squaring pluto in the first house so um you're gonna be very magnetic you're gonna have this magnetic energy people are gonna feel it and this intensity is going to bring out as well something hidden within yourself you know some because pluto is a little bit dirty so it comes with uh, with venus in the 10th house i'm thinking about self-love you know are you comfortable in your own skin well leading others or well being a parent is there some still something uncomfortable is there still something that you need to embrace about yourself or maybe you've been a little bit dishonest about money when it comes to work or you know and it's time to forgive yourself transform and do better and that's okay you know it's like everything is about uh learning life is a learning curve and you need to uh like people are very comfortable with pluto being such an underworld uh planet no it's gonna get up everything that you need to face the shadow work and a lot all the other sign had to do their shadow work and this is yours you know no problem it's um something that you need to clean up before you can move on to your amazing new start new job new image new you <laughs> this is about your time and you know um uh, the sun is going in the end of the month there's a full moon in gemini and gemini for you is in your sixth house of routines of uh, health and your son is in the 12th so maybe you're working on a project behind the scenes you're getting great ideas how to uh, maybe you're discussing with your colleagues something um, you're restructuring your routines or you're doing something extra on the side because you have this amazing idea and when the sun goes in the first house in your sign oh my god that's gonna be amazing that's when you're gonna launch it that's gonna make you move forward and there's no planets retrograding and stopping you from doing so <laughs> so that's actually good news and during this full moon in Gemini you have Mercury sextiling Jupiter. Your Mercury is in Scorpio in the 11th house. So there might be some deep conversations with your friends or maybe this uh, extra work that you want to carry out is with your friends, you know? And you have Uranus in the 5th house of creativity projects. It's going to be something very different, something very innovative, something people haven't really seen before or that's not out there that much you know so it's going to be something major then we have eris the planet of erotism you know erotic <laughs> squaring pluto in the first house so uh you know you might want to have some sexy time at home 
maybe with yourself maybe that's something you need to explore or maybe with someone else um you know and it's going to bring out more of this intensity more of this control like if you were trying to control things in your life or you're trying to make things work for you by controlling this is not working and you know key i have to say is you have to look at your mom your mother figure in your life if you didn't have a mother figure you can look at your father who was always also your mother figure your grandmother it's going to present a lot uh, to you on how you uh ground yourself into this world and how you embrace your uh, sexuality you know and it sounds a bit disgusting but literally our moms are the first example that we have in our lives you know so don't be strange about it it's about observing patterns and understanding why you act a certain way and how to improve it and come on this is giving to you as a practical way <laughs> just like capricorn likes it so i'm having some romance cards here oh and let's see if we have some romance messages for you capricorn yeah okay some romance messages okay yeah oh okay yeah we just talk about this wow okay wow wow, wow. okay <laughs> so synchronicity synchronicity always it's always like that express your love and passion what did i say you're gonna feel intense you're gonna be like rah, rah, rah. <laughs> so um you're gonna yeah maybe just you know have some kinky time or you're gonna actually use your passion for your new project that you're working on you're super passionate about and stay optimistic about your love life because this passionate person is probably not the love that you're actually looking for and when Venus is in Scorpio, you're going to figure out more about what is important to you in love. Healing family issues. So look at the mom. And, you know, if you're a guy, obviously that's the woman you attract in your life. So she might be similar to your mom. And, you know, these... this can be good or bad, but it's something that will reveal something about how you pick your partners and stay optimistic, you know, about your love life. So, uh, yeah, it's really important to understand what are your patterns? How can I solve this? And how can I attract someone that's going to be a good fit? You know, a good fit with you. <laughs> and this is great because you're starting a new cycle. Your luck is on you. The sunshine will be on you soon. You're working from behind the scenes right now uh-huh okay yeah mm -mm -mm. okay yeah okay yeah um what is happening is i'm getting sacrifice emotional loss and conflict and defeat so these past three months were very confronting for you you maybe had to sacrifice something you know maybe your spare time to start uh, this business that you were really wishing to have and uh, it was a bit tough on you and still in November this subject will continue going so you have to work on your heart chakra you know you're going for this passion this passion is not always what is giving you the reward of the heart and this I'm talking to singles but if you're in a relationship you know you might have been going through some obstacles with your partner it's like this partner is not really giving you what you would like them to give but it's very important for you to not fight about it but to communicate about it and to be very open what it is that you are looking for in a partnership so someone else can understand you and work on that material and spiritual uh prosperity <laughs> amazing you see so your heart shocking opening your heart chakra you're going to be more creative you're going to attract people that are better for you you need to look who's better for you i know passion says a lot but you know even if you're in a current relationship and you know all the kinky stuff is great but do you communicate with each other are you on the same level you know uh-huh yeah you are a leader commitment and you found it so yeah this is about your job you're committed to your job and you know what you want to do like this is time to 
go for it. If you had a thought in your mind that you want to uh, develop, this is the time, you know, like the sun in the 12th house is hidden and you're first going through your 11th house at the beginning of the month and then when it's in your first house, you're going to present it. But you're going to definitely work on it behind the scenes and uh, you're going to get help on this one. And you need to be not be too proud to ask for help, Capricorn, because that's something I want to tell you as well. You can't do everything on your own and let your friends help you. <laughs> yeah, really, let them help you. It's totally okay to get some help. So this is my message for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, click on the subscribe button and help my channel so I can make more videos for you and help you on your path of self-empowerment and self-improvement. And also, yeah, this is a general reading. If you would like to have a personal reading, you can send me an email that you find in the description box below and we can book a time that suits us both. Thank you so much, Capricorn. All the best to you. So much love. You deserve it.